Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This is 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a silver dime planchet, a rare transitional error coin, graded in mean state 62 by PCGS. Bright silver with a trace of toning on the lower reverse and lustrous throughout, while seemingly innocuous. This has all the usual appearance of a typical silver Roosevelt dime. But the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are few of these known of metal, old planchet strikings, but very few, especially in mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the clad coins were launched in 1965. Sold for $16,450 at Stax Bowers auction. This is 2001p Sacagawea dollars struck on a nickel planchet, graded in mean state 61 by NGC. The strike is nearly flush with the upper right obverse and lower right reverse borders. The difference in size between the dollar dies and the nickel planchet has resulted in the loss of only top half of the letters in the word United States on the reverse and the few minor details along the lower left of verse border. All features that are present are fully impressed and sharp. The surface is bright with satiny mint brilliance. A seen shallow verse scuff over and behind Sacagawea's head is only impediment to a higher mint state grade. Sold for $10,200 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1944 Lincoln cent in mint state 63 struck on a Netherlands 25 cent planchet. A Netherlands 25 cent planchet has a standard weight of 3.57 grams and a standard diameter of 19 millimeters. The silver alloy is 640 fine. The US struck coins for the Netherlands in 1944 and 1945 due to its German occupation. Though a 1944 cent on a zinc plated steel flan is a costly off metal error. Lustrous, sharply struck and unmarked with delicate wheat gold and ice blue toning. Sold for $7,637.50 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with his 1973S Washington Quarter double struck on a scent planchet, graded as PR68 red and brown by NGC. The fields are deeply reflective despite the starburst appearance produced by the quarter dies on the small planchet. Deep blue and violet hues join the copper red color of the metal, well centered showing all border legends. The second strike appears as a ghost around the primary impression. It was sold for $5,520 at Heritage Auctions. 1974S Lincoln sent with a worst die break, with retained die shard on reverse. This is perhaps one of the most intriguing die break errors known, as not only does it feature a heavy rim cut on obverse, but the piece of the die that broke off is actually struck into reverse of a coin. The obverse cut runs from 9 to 11 o'clock and intrudes into field by about 3 mm. Meanwhile, on the reverse, the exact piece of steel die that broke off lies embedded in the coin above the Lincoln Memorial with part of E Pluribus Unum, faintly struck into it. This incredibly toned gem was bargained for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1979's Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a scent planchet, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS, struck from a very early die state with significant proof-like reflectivity in the fields and satiny luster on the relief elements. The strike is aligned with the lower left of verse rim, meaning the date and the most Anthony's portrait are visible. On the reverse, the entire eagle and the United States are visible while off America, run off the flan. Copper red in color and free of buzzers and carbon spotting, it was sold for $6,300 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, like, share, subscribe and comment. Have a nice day.